All right, all right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. So we have this history of destroying Earth in completely unnecessary ways. But at the same time, I just want to answer some science questions. You know, I like doing dumb science in this game. In our previous episode, I created a planet battle royale. Everyone thought it was impossible, but no, boys. I created the Fortnite of the universe. I'm sorry I brought this to life. And we also placed a tiny little black hole on the surface of the Earth. So today we're going to do something similar. And the question is simple. What if a dime-sized pulsar star appeared on the surface of the Earth? What would happen? I want to visualize it, all right? And this game lets me do that. So before we do this, I want to be able to put it into perspective. So let's use this scale right here. So that is our sun right there. It's a normal star. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's just average. I think they call it a main sequence star. So that's like the normal type of star. And over here is Uranus, but we're not going to focus on that just yet. <laughs> we need to focus on Earth. There it is. That is Earth right there. Beautiful. So it's kind of small compared to the size of the sun. Now, just for comparison purposes, here's one of the biggest stars known to man. It's freaking gigantic. I can't even control it. Now, the question is, how big is a pulsar star? Because I want to create a dime-sized pulsar star. So we're going to go all the way down here. This is the one that we're going to use. Now, the mass is 1.4 times the mass of the sun, but the radius is really freaking small. All right, so here we have a pulsar star. I'm just going to place it right there. I think you have to place two for some reason. I'm not sure why. Oh, my God. There they are. They're freaking tiny. I don't know why. You're... Oh, it's because it's ordered by mass. So they do have more mass than the sun. It's 1.4 times the size of the sun, but the radius is only 11 kilometers. They would be the smallest objects in the whole solar system. There they are. And Earth is all the way over here. Look at Earth right here. We can also see that they would be the most dense objects in the solar system right next to planet Earth. Right there. You can see the size right there. Oh my god. All right, now that we can understand the scale of this thing, I want to see what would happen if we placed a normal pulsar star near the Earth. It's not going to be on the surface. It's just going to be close by. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it smaller and smaller and smaller and until it becomes, you know, the size of a dime and see what would happen then. There's a possibility that as I make it smaller, it might turn into a supernova. I'm not sure. So for some reason, I have to place two. Let's place two just to see what would happen. So these are kind of close. We have two pulsar stars near the Earth. Set play. Oh my God. Yep. <laughs> oh my God. I think those are chunks of the Earth. That's Asia. I'm pretty sure Asia is dead. <laughs> That's... Can we check the temperature? Oh god, that was that was instant. It took a couple of seconds, but that's it. It's dead. Pulsars are sucking the mass out of the earth. I think that's what is that mass? That might be the atmosphere. Maybe it sucked the atmosphere first. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. Planet Earth was instantly charred. Oh, look at this. We have two different explosions on either side of the Earth. So both pulsars are sort of like tearing the Earth apart, it seems like. Oh my God, look at this. I'm not sure if these are gases emanating from the Earth or if this is just the result of the pulsar star. I think a pulsar star is defined as a neutron star that is like spinning at really high velocities, right? I'm not an expert. I'm just here to kill people and destroy the earth in interesting ways. Yeah, you can see that the oceans are gone. The earth is completely charred. There's no, there's no escaping this. Just imagine the amount of radiation that these stars are emitting. If I'm not mistaken, a pulsar star can be seen from billions of light years away. And in this case, in the center of that is our earth. <laughs> or what used to be Earth, I guess. Every second in real life is a minute in game. So yeah, this is spinning like crazy. I wonder what happened to the rest of the, of the solar system. Oh my God, look at the gases. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. I'm just impressed by the, the emission of gases here. Look at that. I don't know if those are gases 
Is that radiation? Is that energy? Is that light? What is that? I don't know, but this is insane. All right, what if the pulsar was the same size, but really close to the surface of the Earth, like right there? Oh, there you go. We have a pulsar star in the middle of the Atlantic. What would happen? Now, we're going to have to reduce the speed here because this is going to happen almost instantly. We are in a super short time scale. It's almost as if nothing's happening, but I'm going to I'm going to increase this gradually because I don't want to miss anything really. Time scale is now two milliseconds per second. Oh, it is moving. It's moving. It's getting closer to the Earth. Oh, it's going to crash. It's going to crash into the Earth. Oh, oh, yes. It's entering the atmosphere now. It's going to collide with the Earth. There it is. Oh, my God. It instantly destroyed the Earth. Oh, my God. What the hell? Oh, my God. That's the Earth. That is the Earth right there. I thought that was the sun. The Earth became a sun instantly look at the time scale here it's milliseconds per second it, it didn't even take a second to turn the entire earth into a sun oh my god it's bigger than our actual sun i don't know if it's energy if it's light or if it's gases but it's definitely bigger than the entire solar system <laughs> All right, so here we have the same pulsar. Now this time it's on top of Europe, I'm sorry. And I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna reduce its size. Now, I'm not sure if I should do the radius or the mass. If I do the radius, I feel like it's gonna turn into a supernova, but let's give it a try. There you go. Oh, yep, it's a black hole. <laughs> It's a black hole. Uh, I think we're gonna have to reduce its mass first or maybe just keep the density the same. All right, here it is. I think it's at the same distance as the International Space Station. I'm gonna leave the density equal so that it behaves like a pulsar, but I'm gonna reduce the mass a little bit. All right, it's under 10 kilometers. I'm gonna keep reducing this. A dime is eight centimeters and we are at nine kilometers. So it needs to be about a thousand times smaller at this point. We are under one kilometer. It's 800 meters. We can keep going. Just keep, keep going. God damn it. God damn it. It became a black hole again. All right, here we go. So the radius is now 260 meters and the mass is two times the mass of Jupiter. I'm not sure if this is still a pulsar because the it, it looks different. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's because of um, the size, maybe the mass, I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna keep reducing the size here until I can um, make this the size of a dime. Now the danger here is of course that it's gonna turn into a black hole and uh, once, it, once it turns into a black hole, there's no way back. I have to start all over again. And this has already taken me a long time, so I'm just generally depressed and sad. What just happened? <laughs> What is that? Is that a supernova? 7.99 centimeters. Now this is the size of a dime. That is a dime in space. I don't know what this turned into. This could be anything. This could be the spirit of Gabe Newell for all I know really. Watching over all gamers on Earth. Even though he's still alive. It's accelerating towards Earth. I'm not sure what's happening here. It's taking longer than expected. It's definitely orbiting Earth. We're somewhere over Asia at this point. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Goodbye, Earth. Even a dime-sized pulsar will, would still be freaking huge. Yep. That is Earth right there. It's like the Eye of Sauron. What the hell? Look at that, it's massive. Let's just place another one, why not? Oh my God, supernova, of course. Oh, here it comes. And that's our sun right there. All right, let's try this again. I see some movement here. Oh my God, it's just taking chunks out of the earth. Yeah, I love how it just removes chunks of the earth at a time. And now they're orbiting the, the star, look at this. They're orbiting the star. That used to be a part of the US. And now it's orbiting a neutron star or a pulsar, I guess. Oh, it's getting closer. It's getting closer. There it is. It's gonna touch. They're gonna touch. Oh boy. Let's reduce the speed a little bit. They're almost touching. 
Oh. <laughs> that was instant. God damn it. Oh. Shit. Yep. Just turns into the sun. That's it. It becomes the sun. Well, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye-bye.